What is up ladies and gentlemen YouTube, my name is Jake with Export Academy and in this video I'm going to walk you through scanning dynamic memory addresses with Cheat Engine. And what a dynamic memory address is, is a space in memory that the game or program uses to store a value that we can modify to use to our advantage. For example, that can be a character's ammo pile health, inventory, run speed, anything, you name it. And even though dynamic memory addresses do not keep their values when the game restarts or resets, we can use them for short-term advantages. So that's enough talking guys, without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so the first thing you're gonna have to do after you have the game started and Cheat Engine is of course attach Cheat Engine to the game so we can modify value. To do this, all you have to do is browse to the top left of Cheat Engine and click the glowing button here. And you can pick the window with three different ways. You can click Applications, Processes, or List of your windows. I prefer using the window list and clicking on the game that you want to attach to. In my case, is Assault Cube. So double click Assault Cube. And you'll know if you're attached because the top of Cheat Engine will say the process name or the window name, which is Assault Cube. So now that Cheat Engine is attached to the game, all we have to do is find a value to scan for. In my case here, I want to give my magazine and my gun unlimited bullets. So the easiest way to do that is find how many bullets you have in the magazine of your gun. So for instance, down here we can see that I have 20 rounds. So if I fire a couple rounds off, you can see it counts down normally like it should. So right now I have 15 rounds in my gun. If I want to, for say, give myself infinite ammo or increase the ammo I have, I go into Cheat Engine and type in 15 here where it says value and click on the first scan button. You'll see a bunch of results come up and I have 18,602 results. Now that is way too many to go through individually and try to find out which one is my real ammo pile. So to do this, to narrow the results down, we fire a couple more rounds and you can see now that I have 10 rounds, I can go back into Cheat Engine and type in 10 and click on Next Scan, which narrows down the results that we had previously. And what Cheat Engine is actually doing there is taking the results we had, which were 15, and figuring out which of those memory addresses had changed to 10. Now in our case, only six of those addresses had went from 15 to 10. Now that we narrowed down to only six results, we can easily find the value that we want to modify which in our case is 10 because our ammo pile is still 10. But before we modify the value, we have to drag and drop the address to our current address list. So to do that, I'm gonna click these two top 10 values here because these four values are constantly changing, hence why they change red sometimes. So now that we have the values added to our address list, all we have to do is modify the values. So to do that, simply click the one you want, right click and click change record and click on value. You can do that or you can just double click the address and type in what you want. So for me to verify that this is the ammo pile, I'm just going to type in 50. And you can see immediately in the game that our ammo changes to 50. To verify that, I'm just going to fire a couple shots. There we go. And you can see I have 44 bullets left in my magazine. And there you go guys, that's it. It really is that simple. Now please remember that these are dynamic memory addresses and they will change every time the game restarts. To fix that, we either have to rescan the game every time the game starts up, or you can just use static addresses, which I'll cover in my next video. So that's it, guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.